stay clear. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Green flag. You're in the top 10 now. Keep it up. We're leading our teammate by 33.0 seconds. The car in front is 2.2 seconds. Okay, keep on him. He might make a mistake.
Okay, clear. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. The teammate behind is 24.2 seconds. Nice move. Good job. The gap to the car ahead is 2.5 seconds.
No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. gap to the car in front is 8.8 .8 seconds. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the softs. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Virtual safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Green flag. In this lap. In this lap. Push now.
There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Our gap behind is 1.6 seconds. Complete, go now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. We're leading our teammate by 31.6 seconds.
Okay, good work. Great pass. There's five laps of fuel remaining. The track is clear. Green flag. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time and there are no plans for a safety car right now. The ending, we're going green, maintain positive delta until the green flags. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Gap ahead is 12.4 seconds.
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Yellow flag. Okay, clear. That was on fire!
already, so that's that's good. Um, I don't think Arnold is gonna join. I've never even seen him, so um, we're just gonna straight away start with Biolo. Biolo, um, good race. One little dirty moment out of the pit lane. Talk us through that moment. Well, in my opinion, the exact same thing with um, Hamilton and uh, and Verstappen happened because you, um, yeah, just talk us through that moment. <laughs> um, they can't hear you on the stream, so I don't know if you, uh, if that's uh, your privacy. I mean, it's it's all on you, of course. But um, yeah, let me quickly check if you are in the party. Um, I think if you press on, yeah, and then sound. a three. I've seen it. Is it good now? Uh, I don't know. It's um. Yeah, I think it's Jesse, good. Jesse, uh, Jesse has to say um, if everything is okay. I guess that's good. Well, we'll just we'll just go um, go on with the interview. Like, um, well, yeah, continue. Yeah. Um, so the first virtual safety car, I was uh, I was pitting before uh, Arno. I thought I was gonna get him uh, after that. I was very very close, huh? And um, <laughs> yeah, then the pace uh, was similar. I was trying to catch. Uh, within the DRS but um, after the second virtual safety car and uh, he he ran away so I couldn't catch him anymore and after that we were at the similar similar pace and but um, uh, I guess he was Cassidy far behind so I could have had uh, I had the uh, pit stop at the end so I catch them yeah but it was quite a it's weird a fast stop it was quite a weird choice though because we saw you pit and you you got dropped five seconds behind Cassidy and oh yeah you still had to overtake him as well with only two laps to go so did you yeah I don't know did you know you had such a big advantage on those softs I mean we're at the exit of the pit lane um, I was going I made the wrong strategy how the hell am I gonna catch him then at the end, uh, it paid off. He was right ahead of me in the next lap. It's, oh, that's him? All right. <laughs> <laughs> it paid off indeed. He, I think he made a mistake um, oh. on lap 26, so that's why uh, you were so close. I also, the... I also made a mistake on my fastest lap. Um, I've, I've, I've gone a bit too, too wide in the Parabolica. I almost spun there. Uh, now it's close. Well, but I'm happy with the result. Yeah, anyway, I obviously know that you're happy because um, you extended your championship um, lead now. Yeah, I guess. With your rivals down in P4 and the rest of them are out of the points, so... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very good for you, but um, just looking on to um, the next race. What's the next race? Oh, Imola. Imola. Yeah, well, how yeah. do you think you will perform there? Yeah, I might need a, a, a bit more practice because these uh, those curves are are crazy. I don't know. The curves in in Imola. Yeah, especially in the first sector. Well, I thought these curves were crazy, but um, well, you <laughs> do you. <laughs> um. Well, anyway, congratulations on your um, <clears throat> on your P two today. Man. Thanks, man. And um. Good luck uh, for next week in Imola. Cheers. Moving on to the next driver. Let's see if we have Cassidy here. Mm, no, he's we... got first dinner. Good. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah, Michael, you're the next one. Um. You had a um, very poor qualifying performance, if I can say that. Um. But still, you fought your way up the field, and you eventually got P4 after a pretty masterclass um, tactics uh, on ball boy there in the last few laps, just breaking on the straights. Talk us through. Yeah, I think that was the idea. I mean, I did lose a part of my front wing earlier in that race with Yorno. Um, 
nothing with you and I think it was just my fault getting on the grass and just sliding into his um, side port that gave me damage. So that made me drop down. But even if I didn't have damage, I think I would still be in fourth anyway. So I was quite... I'm quite really surprised I, I was in fourth at the end because I thought I was at the bottom half of the uh, field after that front wing change. Thankfully I wasn't and I was still in the fight for P4. And it was risky because I wasn't really fighting because I know we were just going to use DRS on each other anyway, probably all the way to the finish. So I choose, I really chose a very risky move to not fight anyone that was getting bossed. So I let um, Charlie, and not Charlie, Ball Boy through. I let, I don't think I had a choice of letting Mana, Mana through because I lost it. Coming out of turn one, I had dirty tyres. But I managed to hang on with him and just save up ERS all the way to the finish. Same with Ball Boy when he got past me. And... Thankfully, that strategy just worked out because the Alpha, Alpha Keen was right behind me trying to get past. Yeah, we obviously saw that. And just thinking about uh, lap 22, I think it was, you had Charlie behind and I think you had a two seconds gap, but then you suddenly had a two tenths gap to Charlie. And I didn't see what happened, but did you just overshot turn one or something? Or well, Yeah, I, I don't know. I pretty much explained it in the, that last answer. I I, pre I lost it on the second curb coming out of it, turn two. And uh, my car just did a half spin. It was only a half spin, but it was just enough to put me on the grass. Thankfully, I was still ahead, but the momentum was with Charlie. So all I did was just stayed on the racing line. He looked like he was going to come on me outside, but I... Because my tyres were that day, I couldn't react because I think my car was just going to slide. And it proved rightly under braking because I went over the kerb. Which obviously, unfortunately, it did... It, it hurt Charlie a bit because when I came back on the track, he was right on my gearbox and Mano went through. So yeah. it, it was... It, it probably thought it, I was being tactical about it, but it's, it's literally because I had dirty tyres... Losing out of turn two. Did you um, pick up any floor damage or anything throughout this race? Surprisingly, no. <laughs> I was keep on checking every time I go through that sector every lap. And surprisingly, I didn't. And again, with the front wing damage also, I'm really surprised I've finished fourth. And with Bulo just finishing second plus with fastest lap, I think that's... I'm happy with that. I think the gap is probably roughly around 10 points, round about there, which I'm happy with that to go into the next race. Yeah, surely there's still everything to play for. Um, just maybe damage limitation for you today, because uh, I don't know if... Do you think if you could have gotten past all the traffic that you could keep the pace of those guys in the lead, or were they in a league of their own? I mean... Never know. You could argue 50-50 because they were on a different strategy to me, so I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you really. I mean, they were closing up to me about half a second, seven tenths a lap, but that's because they were on the new tyres. I was still on the old tyres, so I don't know really. And we probably won't find out until probably next season if we're racing each other. But um. Yeah, I'm happy with 4th of day, and Cassie was thinking of just letting me buy because of the championship, but I told him no, because one, I had Ball Boy behind me, I don't want him to risk losing points, and two, he deserved P3 today after this season, he's had. Sure, 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 and uh, yeah, obviously very good points um, for the constructors as well. Keeps you um, guys in the fight with Alpine. Um, but looking forward to next week, we have uh, Imola. How do you think you will do there? Uh, it could be tricky, but um, I love it all the same. I think when I get that nice lap in, it's absolutely perfect. 
So I feel quite confident around there, but you never know when you get into a race. You might second guess yourself. I might go for another setup, but for the setup I've got at the minute, I'm very happy. You never know indeed. Well, congratulations on today, Michael, with your um, fourth position and um, keeping the championship fight up. And um, good luck uh, next week. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming to you. No problem. Um, moving on to uh, the next driver, we have Ball Boy. Ball Boy, yes. um, well, good points again today. No penalties and just very, very clean driving. Talk us through. Yeah, um, so I guess it was good going from 13th to, uh, to like a really good point scoring position today. It's quite fun. Like there was loads of battles in that, so it was uh, really enjoyable. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I could have done better. Maybe I could have got P4, but I could see what the uh, Mercedes, what Michael Epon was doing. So you know, saving his ERS and stuff and going for it on the final lap. So um, yeah, I'll definitely take it. I think the VSCs were slightly unkind. It'd be nice if it came out when I you know switch to the soft tires at the end but now nah, i'll definitely take it p5 10 points yeah good points again and just looking throughout your battles you had some some very very good battles but you did also um well take a flight during this race did you um pick up any sort of floor damage or just any sort of bodywork damage um, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, was that also like this is Luke and me battling like uh, well, Hamilton I don't know. and Verstappen? I saw so many cars fly today that like I I can't keep up with it. But yeah, I don't know about my floor damage. I didn't check it actually. I think or I didn't notice. But um, no, I nearly lost my front wing actually at the very start. But um, I like had to come to almost like a, a standstill, like going through the first corner because there was like a huge kind of blockade of cars but um yeah no like apart from those crazy vassals where well, that was a lot of fun um yeah it was a a great race and my pace was okay it wasn't the best but consistency has allowed me to score all these points you know i saw people crashing out and stuff so um yeah making no mistakes has meant that i get p5 today consistency is key and um, obviously this is really working out for you um, in the championship as well gaining 10 points on your other rifles because Jacko and um, uh, Charlie aren't scoring anything and and you um, carry the Alpine team a little this race um, keeping the lead uh, in the championship I think but uh, we'll check that afterwards just looking forward to um, Imola, how do you think you will do there? Well, I I love the track, so you know it's it's so nice to like um, racing around different circuits. Because in the last game we only had what Vietnam, and that didn't really even exist, you know, in real life. So um, yeah, I I love it. So I cannot wait. I might do some practice actually for that one, and I did do practice actually for this race too. So it wow. definitely paid off today. Never, never thought I'd heard the word practice coming out of Bobo's mouth, but, um, well, <laughs> very, very good job today, Bobo, and, um, good luck, um, next week then in Imola, and enjoy it. Thank you, and thanks for commentating. No problem. Moving on to the next, um, driver, let's see who we have. I think it's Charlie. Yeah. Um, yeah, Charlie, um, well, not the result again you were hoping for, obviously. Um, scoring no points Who's after... Who's making that sound? I can't hear you. I heard some sound. Oh, it's just Michael of one just breathing. Someone's breathing very... on the mic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Michael stop is there. Breathing like, stop breathing like the freaking Darth Vader. <laughs> Michael had a hard time this race, you know, so 
Not as a hard time, more <laughs> hard more time than me. Well, I'm moving but... some cutlery around. <laughs> Continuing um, the interview, Charlie. Um, not the result you were obviously hoping for today. Um, yeah, not getting in the points and just a very um, off race for you. Talk us through. Well, first of all, to answer, first of all, when I made the collision with TV Football, I didn't clean him out. He was spinning before I hit him, so that didn't happen. I did hit him, but I couldn't do anything, so I was right behind his gearbox. So that was not my fault. Um, qualifying, though, on the other hand, I was not happy with it all because I sector. I don't get how, but I don't know how Arno got freaking a freaking 119 in qualifying. To be honest, because like. Everyone who was outside the top two, it was it would have been an easy top three if I didn't invalidate my final lap, but I ended up invalidating it. And then for the race, I don't even think I need to speak about that because most of it is pro is probably on stream of me spinning. On I was going fast lap on the last lap, but I ended up spinning the same place Oliver, but I managed to save it compared to him, which I'm surprised I did. But yeah. Yeah, um, obviously just a very scruffy race, if I'm allowed to say that, but um, sometimes it's just not in your hands. Um, but then, just asking it another time, did you pick up any damage on your bodywork? Because I did see you fly over those curves as well sometimes. I did get caught on them a little bit, but it didn't send me, like, flying up in the air, so I didn't pick up any damage. Ah, uh, okay. Well, um, swiftly moving on then uh, for you to Imola. Um, do you like the track, and how do you think you will um, perform in Imola? Probably not going to show up, to be honest. Can't, well, really be, uh, can't be asked at this point. I mean, come on, you're still in the championship fight, though, so, you know... Yeah, uh, 33 points behind. Yeah, man, Jacko had, like, three qualifying bands, two DSQs, and he's yeah, still in there as well, Jacko, so... Yeah, that's and we don't need to really talk about him. Mate, it's, it's not even the half of the season. <laughs> yes, it is! 